transistors are at the heart of every chip. They act as switches representing either a zero or a one. And this is how the latest generation looks like. So let's zoom in with an electron microscope. These switches contain ultra thin layers of isolators, silicon dioxide for decades. But as these layers shrink, they become just a few atoms thick, way too thin for silicon dioxide. It would start leaking, blurring the lines between zero and one. So if we can't go smaller, we have to go smarter. This is why we switched to high K gate oxides based on elements like hafnium. These keep things sharp and efficient, allowing to switch transistors even faster without losing energy through quantum mechanical leaks. It actually turns out that the very thin adhesion layer made of silicon oxide in combination with the high cate electric layer made of hafnium oxide performs the best. This thick double layer outperforms the very thin silicon dioxide layer on its own by far. So stay tuned for the next video.